So last time we did a test of McAfee, the default protection many laptops, and it kind of blew up in our face when we tried to execute ransomware on that system. So now we're going to see what happens when you uninstall it. Here we have a system that's running Windows Security, Windows Defender, whatever you like to call it with Windows 11. And we're going to run some infamous ransomware on this thing. Actually, we're going to try to download the latest 100 ransomware. We're going to run it on this system and we'll see what happens. Is it going to blow up in our face again? Or is Microsoft Defender finally good enough to protect us? Without further ado, let the testing begin. Now, as it goes on, we've got two blocks so far. I'm going to explain how this works. So the script is designed to download and execute the ransomware. It's going to tell us if something is blocked or if it is executed. Oh. That's bad. We've only executed three and um, yeah, it looks like our files are already encrypted. Damn. And this looks like a new ransomware. I've never seen this one before. You have 72 hours to make the payment. Let's take a look at our documents and uh, pictures. Oh shit, looks like it did its thing. The extension is Nebula. So this is Nebula ransomware, I'm calling it. Haven't heard of this one, but um, yeah, it's done its job. All our pictures are gone. No more Jurassic Park screenshots, no Shakespeare's plays. This is proper encryption. And that is despite Windows Defender running on our system with latest definitions, access to the cloud and everything. So it just shows how relevant modern ransomware is. There's really nothing that's immune to it. Windows Defender is doing an okay job, I would say better than McAfee. It's block 20 so far, but it's still let one in and that has successfully encrypted our data. So <laughs> the test is kind of flop, unfortunately, but we will keep it running. We'll see what the final detection ratio is. I'm not too happy with the fact that we let in one already, but um, you know, such is life. Ransomware finds a way. I'm going to open up task manager real quickly to see what's uh, going on here if we have a process that's running and actually Windows is the one taking up most of the resources at the moment doing the cloud analysis trying to block the ransomware I guess I will keep this running and I'll see we still have a few faults to go interestingly it is blocking everything else 52 blocks so far I think we've only had one miss so definitely better than McAfee. So no changes to my advice there. Do uninstall McAfee the way John McAfee showed you how in the last video. By the way, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it right now. I'll put the link in the description so you can just pop down there and click on link and watch it because it was super fun. McAfee gave us a wild ride. 75 now blocked just a few more to go as you can see we have the alerts it's not necessarily the most reliable at like, communicating things and fixing them even when it works now something else has managed to execute but this looks more like a false positive this looks like a tor installer yeah this does not look like ransomware to me but we're gonna do it anyway just in case there's like a hidden payload or trojan somewhere in there that i don't see but if nothing else happens then i'm gonna count this as a false positive not really a miss by windows defender because it doesn't seem to be encrypting our data so far but it doesn't really matter because our data is already encrypted by the nebulous nebula ransomware the test is now complete and we have a total of 98 blocks so everything other than this one ransomware that let in was successfully blocked so definitely a better result than what we would have seen maybe a few years ago the fact remains that our data is encrypted all of it and if we go into our documents and try to open one of these, this is what was supposed to be, I guess, a text file. If we open it with Notepad, it's going to tell us what the encryption has done if it loads. And yeah, there you go. So this is what an encrypted text file looks like when you try to open it after encryption. Interesting. Maybe if you read Egyptian hieroglyphic, you can make sense of it. But otherwise, your data is destroyed. I like how we have like random Chinese characters and in the middle, there's like a golf hole. Don't know if you can see it, but it's quite funny. So Windows 11, still very, very susceptible to ransomware if you get hit by the wrong thing at the wrong time. I highly recommend for those of you who are using it to go into virus and threat protection and then set up what they call ransomware protection and controlled folder access. Now, this is not really going to protect you from ransomware in the sense that it's not going to block anything. But what it can do is it can protect certain folders from being accessed. So if you add your documents, your pictures and folders where you have crucial data to this list, then not ransomware, not 
any unknown app is going to be able to access them. That is a good way to protect yourself. Of course, it comes with its downsides because sometimes you may have an app trying to open a document in here and it's also not going to work because Windows Defender is not going to let it be accessed, but it's better than getting your data encrypted. So pick your poison. There's also a new setting that Microsoft has just introduced in the uh, app and browser control feature called Smart App Control. And what this does, if you turn it on, is it's going to block everything that's untrusted or not signed. Now, spoiler alert, I have tested this feature and the reason I didn't enable it in this test is first of all, you can't turn it on and off easily because if you wanna turn it off, you have to uninstall Windows. <laughs> Also, unfortunately, this is not the magic fix to ransomware because all it does is checks if a file is signed. So I have run tests before and it has let ransomware through because the ransomware appears to be signed. But again, it might increase your defenses a little bit, just reduce that attack surface for less sophisticated malware, I guess. At the end of the day, Windows Defender is still a work in progress. It has gotten better over the years, but it's not got very sophisticated behavioral protection. There's some things you can tweak in group policy settings, but it's not gonna work like magic. It is the same engine at the end of day. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you pleased with this result? I mean, it did block 98 or 99 ransomware, so it's not bad. And you're still way better off than if you stuck with your default McAfee that came with your laptop from the store. And hey, do like and share this video if you found it fun or enjoyed it. I do love doing this task, so if you do too, let me know in the comments below. Now, if that task interested you, here's a quick task with one of our sponsors, Threat Locker. This is a unique solution that actually uses whitelisting and application control to protect an enterprise environment. So we're gonna run the same test. We're actually doing an evaluation for them right now. And as you can see straight away, it doesn't allow us to execute it. And that is because Threat Locker reduces the attack surface. So instead of default allow, it does default deny. But we can, however, send a request to run this program. And I'm going to show you what it looks like in the response center. So if we refresh, now you can see that uh, we have a new request to run a program and we can actually run it in a testing environment to see what it does. But we're gonna skip testing for now and just approve it, because why not? Let's do a ransom test. Once that's done, we're going to rerun the test on our system. And now it's still blocking all the ransomware. And that is because Threat Locker reduces the attack surface. So it's not going to allow Python to launch all these applications. Pretty interesting. A shout out to Threat Locker for sponsoring this part of the video. You can try them out and see how the solution works for yourself. Just click on link in description and let them know. Now, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have a lot more exciting tests coming up. So make sure you're subscribed to the PC Security channel. This is Leo. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.